Hi everyone, this is Chris at Chris Marino Design, and first I wanted to thank everyone for supporting my interactive PDF videos. I have received a lot of great feedback and questions regarding the videos, and I finally had some time to make another video to answer a few of those questions while also exploring these pop-up windows further. In this video, we will explore a rollover pop-up window, we will add a photo to a pop-up window, and we will also add a hyperlink to a pop-up window, which will allow a user to navigate to a web page outside of the PDF. I will be starting from where the previous videos ended, so if you haven't had a chance to view the previous two videos, the links are in the description below. Once you complete those videos, you should have something similar to what is on my screen to work with. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, we'll start with this first pop-up window since it's already been created. And I want to copy and paste this pop-up window to make things faster. So I want to lock this text box. And I go to the next page. Lock the text box there. And I'm just going to highlight all the pop-up window elements, copy, and paste into the next page. Now this is going to be a rollover pop-up window. And all I really need to change since I copy and pasted the first pop-up window, I just need to change the actions with the phone icon. So on event, I'm going to switch this to rollover or on rollover. And I need to add some actions to the on rollover. I want the phone icon visible when it rolls over. I want the contact info button visible when it rolls over. And I want the close button. Now these are all, we're going to show the number two because I copy and pasted it from the first pop up window. And, and that's it for these actions. So let's go ahead and export to test it. And let's make sure we're exporting it as an interactive Adobe PDF. And just leave everything default. Should work. And now, so on this document, page two, we have the first pop-up window that needs to be activated by a click. And we'll close that out. And then if we go to page three, the second pop-up window just needs to be activated by a rollover. So when we roll our cursor over the phone icon, the pop-up window is triggered and it closes the same way. So let's add a few more pop-up windows. Close that out. And I'm going to go to page four. And I have already created some elements to work with to speed things up. So this is going to be a pop-up window for a photo. And I have the camera icon. I'm going to copy and paste that to the page. Place it right there. And you know what? Let me go ahead and lock this text box, text box as well. So I could just build on top of that. And I want to make sure the camera icon in the circle design is grouped. And I'm going to copy and paste my photographic as well. And I want to make sure all these elements are grouped. So I'm going to command G all these elements. And place the photo box next to the camera icon. Now you can make this photo as large as you want, but I'm just going to keep it this size for now. And I want to copy and paste the close button. Command G to make sure those elements are grouped. And I'm just going to place the close button right there. Now let's set some actions for these buttons. Actually, we need to create these buttons first. You always want to create all your buttons prior to assigning actions. So we'll click on the camera icon, create a button, and we want some in this camera icon. 
hit return or enter. And we'll keep the event on release or tap. I'm going to add an action. Actually, jumped ahead. Let's make sure. Let's create all these other buttons as well. I'm going to click on the photo box. Create a button. This would be called photo box button. Actually, I'll just leave a photo box. Hit return or enter. And then this last one. I'm going to create a button. This is going to be close photo box. Hit return or enter. Now we can assign some actions. So I'll go back to the camera icon button, leave it to on release or tap, show or hide buttons. I want to show camera icon, I want to show the photo box, and I want to show the close photo box button. And I want it printable, so all the actions are taken care of for the camera icon button. I'll click on the photo box button. And all I need to do is set this to hidden until triggered, uncheck printable, and then we'll move over to the close photo box. And I'm going to add some actions. And I will need to want the camera icon visible, and then I want the photo box and the close photo box not visible. So it closes everything out. I also want this button hidden until triggered and I want to uncheck printable. All right, let's export this and see if everything worked out. I'm going to leave the file name the same. Make sure it's Adobe PDF Interactive. Replace the old file. Export everything. Go to page four, click on the camera icon, and there is our photo. Close button, everything disappears except the camera icon. Okay, so that's taken care of. Now let's finish up with our last pop-up window. And this is going to be the hyperlink pop-up window. And I've already created some elements over here. I'm just going to work with those. I'm going to lock this text box. I'm going to copy and paste this icon, my hyperlink icon. I'm going to copy and paste this text box right here. Make sure everything is grouped. Place it next to the hyperlink icon. I want to copy and paste, close box. Make sure all those elements are grouped. Place it above. So the graphic right here. Now we need to add one more element for the hyperlink text box. I'm, I'm sorry, the hyperlink pop-up window. We need to just take the rectangle frame tool. And I had this text reads, click here to learn more. So I want to Place a blank transparent rectangle over the click here text. So now I'm working with four elements. I have my hyperlink icon, I have my text box, I have my close box, and then I have this transparent rectangle. So now I need to make all of these four elements into buttons for this to work. So let's start with a hyperlink icon. For the button and buttons and forms, type button. This will be name hyper link icon. Hit return or enter. Let's go over here, create a button with this graphic, and this is going to be let's see hyper link text box. Hit return or enter. 
this will be the hyperlink close button. Hit return or enter. And last but not least, we want to click on this transparent rectangle and make sure this is a button as well. And we are going to name this hyperlink URL. Hit return or enter. Now let's set the actions for these buttons. Click back on the hyperlink icon. On release or tap, going to show or hide buttons. And I want to make sure the hyperlink icon is visible, the hyperlink text box is visible, the hyperlink close button is visible, and the hyperlink URL box is visible. I'll leave hidden until trigger blank. Printable checked is fine. Move over to the hyperlink text box. And this is just going to be set hidden until triggered. And I want to uncheck printable. Now let's move to this close button. I want to add some actions. And when I hit the close button, I just want to make sure the hyperlink icon is visible and nothing else is visible. And I want this button to also be hidden until triggered. And I want to uncheck printable. And then we have this hyperlink URL that we need to send somewhere when a user clicks on it. So under actions, we are actually going to choose go to URL. And let's send this to adobe.com. Hit enter or return. And we also want this button hidden until triggered and we'll uncheck, uncheck printable. Now in this URL space, you can use any website you want. I'm just using adobe.com for this example. And that should do it. Let's go ahead and export. It's PDF again. I'll leave it the same name and replace the old file. Export. And let's go down to page five, where this hyperlink icon is. So we'll click on the hyperlink icon. Our button pops up. And if we click on the click here, it's going to take us outside of the PDF, which is exactly what we want. The security warning will pop up, but just hit allow. And it'll take us to adobe.com. So if we go back to our PDF, let's close this out. Let's go back to page two. We have our original pop-up window that needs to be clicked on. The next page, we have our hover, or I should say our rollover pop-up window. The following page, we have our photo pop-up window. And then the last page, we have our hyperlink pop-up window with an actual hyperlink above the text that takes us to our URL. And that's it. I hope you were able to pick up a few new techniques from this video. Thanks again for all of the support, and I'll see you next time.